Hello everyone, it is Susan here and welcome to my channel. So I felt like working on a tag and I had a piece of packaging that on the back you can see right there that I just put some white paper to cover the back of it. And then on the front that you can see there, I put down some book page and then I just sewed over it. And I did that, I don't know, a day or two ago, so it's nice and dry. And so I felt like playing with my inks. And this is Liquitex Iridescent Bright Gold. And I haven't played with these in a while. I've been going through my stash of supplies, cleaning out, and yeah, it's been feeling really good to go through stuff. And yeah, so, um, and this is Dilutions Spray in London Blue. And that blue definitely was the dominant color here. Um, so some of that gold was lost, but in the end, the tag looks great. And yeah, yeah, and I'm happy with it. Um, like, so even like the Dilutions sprays, I mean, I've had for forever, but I haven't used them in a long time. So I kind of have to reacquaint myself with them and how they work. So, yeah, so I wanted to get some drippage going here, and so I'm using my spray bottle to, to um, get it all activated and moving, and I give it a good dry, and then um, I'm able to continue working on it. So what I decided, though, was all this drippage that was on this, just this piece of page paper right uh, book page um, I didn't want to waste it as usual right and so I decided well maybe I can make some fodder out of that piece and um, I decided that that yellow flower cluster would look best on this tag so I'm going to use that and I'm going through my smaller stencils uh, stencils was one of the the things that I recently cleaned out and yeah yeah so I'm getting rid of well they're going to a good friend um probably about I don't know a quarter of my stencils maybe a little more and uh but I put these small ones in this bag so I can just easily grab it it's next to me on this rolly cart thing and uh, the cart is actually made for a sewing machine to sit on but um, it just fits great right next to me and I can put a whole bunch of stuff on it so that is Dina Wakely black gesso and I know I want to use that stencil that is under the bowl right there and I'm not sure who made it who made the stencil but I'm in love with this stencil. Um, I'm, I'm in love with it. For whatever reason, the shape of it is just right up my alley right now. <laughs> and yeah, so I'm really, really liking this stencil. Uh, you'll probably see me use it again um, in the near future. I like it that much. So what I did was I took just a cotton ball a cotton swab now cotton ball i guess you would call it and yep yeah, and i'm just going to use that to get the black gesso onto the tag now this cotton ball for whatever reason i don't know it was messed up <laughs> i'm gonna blame the cotton ball <laughs> Um, but anyways it was a little bit of a pain in the neck but yeah next time i'll have to definitely use something different to do this uh, but that cotton ball was not playing nice with me so I ended up with the gesso all over me and blah 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 so I'm really liking that right but I need more right you know you can always add a little bit more so I decided to add just a piece of this fabric and what you're going to see me do here is just kind of get it frayed a little bit more, right? Um, just to make it look a little bit more interesting. And, you know, with like anything that I might collage, if you want to call this collaging, I don't necessarily like 
straight edges. So that's just kind of how my mind works. And so I think the same when it comes to fabric. I like um, the fraying of, of the fabric. And I do like that. I like it in that spot. So we're gonna go ahead and then, oh, first we're going to take a look at this piece of lace. Um, it's a little bit too long, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it. And then you're going to see me just pulling at the edges. Um, if I had had my seam ripper close by while I was doing this, I would have used my seam ripper. It's something that I saw Susan Taylor Brown do once, and it just makes the fabric very, very... Um, it can make it like holy but frayed, like... I don't know how to explain it. Um, yeah, but I do like the way that that looks. And then I took out this cheesecloth, which I've had since probably the beginning of my journaling days. So we're talking, I don't know, many years. And um, so I decided to pull that out and to use some of it. And it was kind of folded in half. So I end up, there we go. I end up pulling off half of it. And I just want to basically cluster it up top. Because I have the lace and the fabric at the bottom, I felt like I needed something at the top. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, well, this thread that I have, looks so good with the blue that's on the tag so i took a bunch off and i'm just going to kind of put that on top of the cheesecloth and just kind of play around with it for a minute but it kind of helps i don't know like before the the bottom of the tag seemed heavy to me but adding this cheesecloth and the thread um on the top kind of helps balance it out a little bit it's a little bit busy but but I like it. I like it. And, you know, again, since I'm going through cleaning, like, out all my cabinets and everything in my basement, like, all my crafty stuff, like, I'm finding, like, even stuff like this tacky glue, which I've had for forever. I have a lot of tacky glue. And, <laughs> you know, I don't know. I guess I collected it at one point in time. <laughs> And it's a little, it was a little hard to squeeze out. I mean, it worked fine. Um, yeah, and so it feels good to to actually use these things, right? So, so um, like even, like you're going to see in future videos, the different uh, matte mediums that I'm going to be using, uh, the different sprays I'm going to be using, the different posca paint pens and that kind of stuff just yeah i mean i have a lot of stuff because i've been doing this for a long time and it's just time to take it out and um, start using it again and um like i mentioned before um well as i go through things um yeah i'm able to to give some of it away which also makes me feel good right that other people can use it so i take out my fan brush and to do some splattering and you would think that like on that fabric down there the splattering wouldn't necessarily work correctly and it and it worked different than it would on the paper uh like on the tag itself because of course fabric is porous, but it looks great. When it's all dried and everything, it really looks good. Um, and then I'm just taking some of the gold as well. And this helped to bring, you know, some of that gold back onto the tag um, that I lost when I had all that blue spray on there. So I'm going to give that a really good dry. And now we're going to get down this die cut. Um, again, I'm just using the tacky glue. And you're going to see me put quite a bit on the back of this die cut. which And the die cut, I'm pretty sure, is Tim Holtz. Um, but I wanted a lot of glue on the back because the tag right now is very dimensional, right? With the fabric and the cheesecloth and the thread. 
Um, it's just very, very dimensional. So I knew I needed a lot of glue and I'm not gonna push it down hard. You'll see, I just push it just a little bit just to get the glue kind of through everything and it worked out really well. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut out my little hole um, for the top of my tag. And I found this piece of lace in my scraps, um, in my fabric scraps, and I thought that it would be perfect for this. And I just give it a quick little tie up top. I mean, there's different ways to add, you know, a topper to your tags, but yeah, this was just easy and I like the way that it came out. Um, so I'm going to go back to this piece of fodder and, um, you know, since I have some of that black, uh, now mind you, it was watered down, that black gesso, but I'm like, well, I don't want to waste it either if possible. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and continue adding stuff to this um, book page and yeah yeah so now I actually have this now that it's dry I have it with the rest of my fodder like I really need more fodder but I have it and it, this gold I'm like what am I going to do with it what am I going to do with it so I just poured it on <laughs> easy peasy then I'm just going to spread it around a little bit because otherwise it would never really dry and I didn't want it to necessarily be lumpy either. So it ended up blending a little bit with the black, but that's it. So here's the tag up close and I like it and it was a lot of fun to work on. So I'll be making more tags. And then here's the piece of fodder and that's it. So I hope you enjoyed and um, yeah, I'll be back soon. Have a blessed week, everybody. Bye-bye.